Well, greetings everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of The Village on the Hill, which is now, I guess, what I'm calling this. Uh, we are uh, going to soldier forward now with uh, trying to get ourselves properly established. You can see behind me, we have a fair number of houses up. Our population is up to 46. Um, I think uh, we have a couple of open vacancies. We actually have a couple of jobs available. Um, there is uh, available housing as well. So I think uh, where we're at now is essentially trying to get farms in um, and uh, doing a little bit of other kind of like fix fix up jobs. Like we've got to get, get a couple more granaries in to store some stuff. I'd like to put some storage areas in. But I think farms are really, really important and we have to watch our cash flow because at the moment all we can do is export charcoal, which is all good and well, but it won't keep us going for much longer. So... In this episode, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up placing quite a few buildings um, that we might not end up building. But I would like to start, actually, by putting down a couple more houses, weirdly enough. Now, I'd like to, I was thinking about putting these houses going down this road, but with their entrances along that way. I thought that could be quite cool. Um, the reason why I want to do this is I want I want the builders to to have something to work on uh while we uh space out some of the other buildings that we have planned here um so if we do that and then what we can do is we can rotate this so it actually sits uh, uh in the same direction as all the other houses but the entrance the, uh, the plot is slightly different i think that looks quite cool um i think we can actually fit in another one over here um in the bottom before we get to the the end definitely yes an exit along there would be great. Right, so you can see we're making ourselves like a little path down here, right? Let's get that in. Um, so that will, the builders can have something to, to start on there while we while we sort of look at our farm. So farm fields can go on the slopes, which is good news. So I was kind of thinking, I want to kind of use this area here, hopefully for a few more houses, maybe with the fields up behind it. So maybe what we do is we actually end up placing a bit of uh, farmhouses on the road here. Uh, that could be quite cool. Um, we could even do it... Okay, that's a little bit too uneven. Is that uneven there? What happens if we... It's too uneven, too uneven. Okay, so we might even do fields over there. How about we see how far up here we can do this? Maybe like... Uh, let's see. Like... Like that maybe? I kind of like that idea with the uh, the road running up to the farm there. Um, let's do that, shall we? And actually, what we're going to do is we're actually going to plan two farms in here. So let's do it, shall we? I know it sounds odd. We probably will only build one at a time, but we are. Let's do a gap there so we can maybe build a, to some fields behind there. Uh, let's do... Uh, not such a big gap, maybe, to, like, like, there? Yes. There is always method in the madness. We'll pause one of them. Move that one up there. Um, right, let's, let's put this on some speed so we can get... We, have we got housing available? There is still housing available, which is good. Oh, we have some trade. Do you want some charcoal? Uh, we can do, we can do 933. We can't, unfortunately, do anything else at the moment. We've just got charcoal. Um, and I would not want to be doing anything else. What else are you, you, are you demanding these days? So, apples, or liquor, charcoal, wheat, shoes, chicken flakes, sunflower. Got to get into the sunflower oil soon, everyone. I think the sunflower oil production is another great trading uh, resource. Um, and I think apples too. Maybe we should start planting uh, some orchards sooner rather than later. That actually might be something that we end up doing. So I'm going to try and put some fields in this gap here, and we'll wait till the the, the farm is finished, though, before we do that. So let's... Uh, a few other... Oh, yeah, family moved in. Good stuff. Okay, so we've got no more available housing now. So this is where I was... We're going to need some more uh, granaries along here, right, uh, to store this, because we can store, I think, in here, uh, eight... Um, eight items? Uh, which which is basically two stalls, um, if that makes sense. Oh, by the way, we're selling uh, peas and honey, etc. Uh, in here now, so that should also help with some money. 
or, or buying and selling some of this. So let's uh, let's actually do this. I want to put, I think that looks kind of good, a row of, of granaries down here. So I actually kind of want to plan them out. Um, let's do, I want to do four. Um, we're not going to build them all straight away. Um, but it's going to be worth having them in, uh, yeah, there you go. It's going to be worth having them in the ground, I think. Um, or planned out, at the very least. There you go. All right. Um, we will pause and pause. Uh, we'll shift you up. So we'll build one. We'll plan to build one. The others we will just leave there. I think we're going to do a lot of that in this, in this, in this series is sort of planning buildings, uh, but then waiting a while until we actually, uh, place them, place them down, uh, sort of properly, uh, as it were. We're in November now, so it's two years since we started, settled. Uh, we got a couple of workers working here. Uh, we're doing perform preventative repairs, please. Got to always make sure that that is checked. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to have our boats fixed too easily. Uh, you're also pre performing preventative repairs on our carts, which are needing... Um, can we make some metal parts, please? Uh, I think ordered. No, I don't have metal parts for repair. Metal parts, there's two. Right, uh, let's just up the number of metal parts we make, shall we? Do we have any, um, uh, looking for job? One, one man is looking for a job. So let's open another slot in the, uh, carpenter shop there. Um, and, uh, maybe that, there you go. Slot taken, okay. Maybe that'll help us with our, uh, metal parts production. Not enough charcoal. Uh, there's definitely charcoal here, guys. Come on. Uh, right. How are you guys doing here with this lovely, lovely building? Yep, looking good. Looking good. Putting that house up. That's actually what we're really looking for. But while we're doing that, I think we also should discuss what we're going to do along here. So this is our, uh, our, our warehouse over here. And what I was thinking of doing was is using this lovely copy tool. Copy. So, oh, no, not that one. Copy. Uh, it's, there's, the, there's the warehouse. Uh, I want to get used to using that a little bit more often. Okay, we've got a, a trader in, so we should check that out. Let's just check that out quickly. Uh, what would you like? Um, nothing that we can sell you, unfortunately. Sunflower, lime, dried fish. Nope. You don't even have anything that we would like. Sorry. Uh, we, we could... You want iron? Okay. We, we could... We're going to be mining iron soon, so don't worry. Don't worry, Murphy. We will get you some iron. Uh, where were we? Uh, storage. Uh, here you go. Warehouse. Okay, so I think the idea is that I want to use this area along here as well as a bit of a warehousing area as well. Uh, now the debate is, is how to fit them in. Do we fit them in like this? Or do we fit them in like this? Part of me thinks that this is the way, like this. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to plan a couple out here like this. The, 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 it's not, uh, it's, yes, we're going to stock them all along here. So there's going to be some warehouses along here. Let's see how many we can fit in, shall we? Uh, I think we can do at least two along here. Um, and over here we could do three. Yes, I like this. Good. Okay. And maybe we can even do some on this side. There's a big warehousing area here. I'd want to get caught off guard uh, with uh, not enough storage uh, area, uh, not enough storage space within town. And I think that that's going to provide like a, a really good uh, sort of gap. And I think what we'll do is we'll use this as a big boulevard over here. It runs up here. There's going to be a series of trees here and uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what are they called, the decorations, the, uh, where are they, the, the gazebos, and we're gonna maybe put up a patron of the arts monument as well, and in fact, actually, just plan a few gazebos in here, I kind of like the square ones, um, right, let's, uh, let's actually maybe do that, let's maybe put, like, a, what we're gonna do is we'll maybe do a gazebo there, um, let's do one over there, and then what we do is we'll spin it directly around, We'll kind of do the same thing over here on this side. Uh, kind of like this. I know it looks uh, it looks a bit weird, but we're going to plan those two gazebos out. Right, we don't need all of these. So let's just uh, build two for now. Uh, and the gazebos we can add to the end of the queue. We're going to end up uh, getting ourselves a really long build queue here. 
Um, is this house not even done yet? No, it's not. All right, what are we doing here? Open vacancies one. Uh, there's one job for the, there's one man looking for a job, really. Um, can we can we give you a job as a builder quickly? Yes, we can. The other thing that we want to do is we want to very quickly look at building a town center. Because with a town center, we can start enabling seasonal hiring and start adjusting with our money and taxes, which is, is, is super important. Um, Murphy, you are... No, we, we, we can't actually sell. You're still the one that we can't sell to. So the question then becomes, where do we put uh, the... Uh, where do we put the town center? Um, and I'm kind of thinking, I kind of want the town center sort of up here uh, in, in, in the trees or maybe even just behind this. And that could be kind of cool. Town center here behind the trading hub. Um, that might actually be the way to do it. Uh, so there they come off the map over there. Uh, yeah, I think that maybe... I think this... Let's have a look. I think there you go. That's where they spawn. So they spawn in there. Um, so they're going to... What we want to do is we kind of want to make a path that runs like this. And then through there eventually. So that they take like a nice journey into the into the into here if that makes sense um so let's actually do it government 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 town hall right town hall we're gonna need a town hall i kind of want to put the town hall up here um i think if we put the town hall here it feels like this is going to be the set of center of governance up here uh yeah it's got a nice nice backing town can spread that way um yeah this is where we're gonna do it right Let's uh let's uh plan this out, shall we? Now I want to give it a good, because we we want to kind of maybe make a little bit of a market in here, maybe I don't know. Uh, let's do it though. We're gonna place it in for now. Uh, we're gonna do it. Boom. All right, and we're actually gonna move this one up into the next priority, um, because I really do want that. Um, is this built? Not yet. Um, put on hold. No, no, I don't want to put that on hold. Um. That's really important, that town hall. Uh, it's gonna... It's gonna really shake things up. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave you here and I'll rejoin you when we've got the farm up and we're starting the town hall construction. Uh, it sounds like a good, good thing to me. I'll see you in a few moments. Right, everyone. It's uh, almost the end of February, which is great because the, the snow is mel melting. And we have our first farm up, which is fantastic. The builders have now moved on to uh, the uh, task of uh, constructing uh, our town center so we can enable some seasonal hiring. And uh, now is the time uh, to start placing some of these fields because maybe we can even get this farm running uh, for summer. So let's get a field in, shall we? Now, what we want to do is this over here is where we kind of want to draw the line. Because uh, this is the path up here. There you go. So maybe what we want to do is this field. We want to go maybe in over here so that it opens out there. And we can maybe put this one. Let's do a... I want to, I want to see if I can get a, a nice a nice 25er in. 25. Let's see how, how far the 25 units goes this way. 25. Okay. Let's see if I can get a straight line there. Where's the 25? Uh, oh, it's a 24. Okay, we're going to get a 24 in here. 24. And then that's a good square, right? Uh, yeah. Um, but I think what we can do is we can make this a bit of an odd shape because of the, the way the paths are going here. So let's, um, let's put them in maybe like, like that. Yes, like that. What we'll do is we'll, we'll we'll throw a clump of trees along here and make this feel more farmy. Uh, let's do another one in here, um, and this one we will do on this side, I think. So we'll keep this uh, we'll keep this threshold here. Uh, so let's do to want to do a twenty five on this side. So let's go twenty five. There you go. Uh, let's see if we can pop this all the way down to here. I'm gonna leave a little bit more of a gap there so we can plant some trees along there. Uh, there you go. Fantastic. And we'll do a line of trees along there. Uh, but it's good to have those first sort of fields up. Now, let's see if we can get a manager in. Good. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to get in into this one. We want some potato. And we want, uh, let's do 
sunflower uh, and then we'll do a fallow there and then after the sunflower um, we can actually do a I think as uses 100% we can do a buckwheat after the sunflower there and then a fallow um, we'll do some potatoes there um, let's see if we can get 80% uh, we'll hire laborers women and children down that to 80% as well um, and let's see if we can get some workers in uh, looking for jobs. Three women. Uh, three women. Uh, let's see now. No woman. Okay, good. Um, so we can maybe get some... That would, that's good. We can get some, some people into the farms there. So that's um, at least a crop of potatoes and some sunflowers that we can get out of that. Uh, let's uh, skimmy down here then. Um, and in here, let's make sure that we have space uh, for some potatoes. I think I'm going to put... Uh, I think I'm going to put 1,500 in there. Um, and that'll open us up for some potatoes, uh, which we can start selling in one of these uh, when we get some potatoes. Get some more more food into the system. Uh, we're doing pretty well on the cash, though. I'm quite, quite happy about that. Right, uh, farm. Okay, we want to add, I think, at least six fields in here. So let's see how else this goes. Um, maybe we do this field in over there like this. Let's do a... I want to give the guys up here. We're going to have to talk about forestry just now as well. Um, let's do 25. Uh, 25 and 25. Okay, so that, that's going to have to clear that. So now we talk about forestry. Right. So I always said that this forestry down here, currently clearing those, was never going to be permanent. So I actually want to build a second forestry building now. Uh, and I'm thinking that that secondary forestry building is actually going to go in here. This will eventually have an actual forestry forest attached to it, I think. Um, I kind of want to build this in line with this. Maybe we'll use this as a tree line over there and on the other side. Yeah, let's do it. Um, let's build this like that. Yes, okay. So forestry forest, uh, fields, remove that up there. And that's going to be really important, I think, um, because, um, in fact, we'll move that further up, I think, yeah. Um, because uh, we'll use that to start clearing these trees back here as well. Um, and then eventually this, this guy down here will disappear. Um, we'll move over the river, rather, uh, because this needs to be housing. This needs to be housing. Now, our big problem here now that we've opened up farming and kind of got some farming going is going to be housing so let's uh, sort of plan a little bit more housing now i kind of want to do a few more a little bit more village housing in here um because i kind of do like the village housing um and i kind of think that they would look good sort of uh, this stretch here maybe without gardens looking down on the river but let's get in a couple more of these uh as well uh i think that's also a good idea just for for planning sakes you know um let's keep these running at an angle like this yes um that house should actually i kind of like the idea of that house looking the other way yeah yeah let's do that uh enter in it goes um and then i think what we'll do is we're gonna do a similar thing over here um so that's very uneven up there so that's this is all gonna have to be fields over there i think um this one is gonna actually open up that way i think yes that way um, I kind of like the idea of these houses having... Uh, it's going to be quite a big garden, this one. Um, yeah, let's do a bigger garden here. I kind of like the idea of these houses having different uh, sort of... Um, different entrances. For, so some of these on the side and some of that on the side of the road. It kind of makes it, makes it more interesting. Uh, I think let's put you uh, maybe over... Maybe over there? Yeah, it looks good. Uh, in in you go, um, and then I want to do one more village house. Um, let's put your entrance over this way. Um, let's see, there and there. And then we can snap you to there um, and keep you like that. It's a little bit smaller, but uh, and then maybe we put you facing like like that. Yeah, a little bit of flatter ground there, but looking that way, yeah. Down this road, down that road, that part of town, that part coming down the hill. 
Yes, okay. Uh, let's all move these houses up the up the chain here, shall we? Uh, chain, up the chain. That's fine, because this forestry guys will clear that. Uh, right, more housing. So I think that's a good loop over there. Maybe one or two more houses on here with gardens. Uh, do you think we can fit them in? Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if we can do this. Maybe we do it like a half. Uh, let's see if we can see if we can alt this uh, to there maybe middle of there yeah like that um, and then uh, what are we gonna do over here um, I kind of want this to be more trees over here real treed over here so let's do that and then um, spin you around and put you up here like this Yes, that's going to make for an interesting looking house. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, and then uh, let's get our um, tree on, shall we? And we've got a couple of trees, uh, a fence there. Um, but I really like the idea of ash tree. Maybe one there as well. Um, and then uh, let's get a, maybe an apple tree. Uh Maybe too close to another tree. Maybe an apple tree there. Um, can we get another tree in? Uh, uh, maybe we can get a cottonwood in here somewhere. Nope, all too close. All right, that's fine. Uh, a lilac bush. Great. Uh, we'll get one in there. And like in there. Oh, yes, the lilac bushes and the golden rose bushes have got the same... Uh, um, uh, the same uh, now behavior as the dog rose bushes and they don't collide with the trees that is fantastic that was something that I, I didn't quite enjoy I was like oh we're still gonna have to use the dog rose bushes to fill the gaps um, but now we get to do this so this is just gonna create like a I don't know just a bit of a buffer I think we're gonna do a lot of that around here as well I'll probably do most of it off camera um, but already you can see here with the tree lined roads um, it just kind of really brings it to life um, I think it's really it's really nice the way it does that. So five houses there, uh, uh, right? So that's where they are. Uh, there's a bit of a gap there, but I think that means we're going to get another house in this way. This is going to be a big guy. Uh, this is going to be a big guy. We're going to do him over here, and we're going to snap that back to there, and snap that back to there, and then do it like this. This this dude's going to have like a fat like a very big garden like that. It's a really nice garden there. Wow, down here. And then there's we're going to start some village houses along here, I think. Uh, just looking down onto the uh, over the bank, we'll do some some nice sculpting. Um, right, let's do that quickly. Let's get the village houses in. So I'm kind of keen to sort of, if we think about this, uh, this is going to be a path here. So. I was thinking maybe we can do the village houses. Oh, it's very uneven here. Yeah. Oh, it's just gonna have to be very not not what I thought. Okay, how far can we do? There's the gap. There's the end. Okay, right. So let's uh, how far can we go down? There it is. Let's do it like this, shall we? Um, okay, we'll do. I'm trying to think about how this is gonna work. We'll go up a little bit, and then we'll put some over here. Yes, okay, we'll see how far we can go. Um, one, two, three, and four. I'd kind of like to see now if we can get some uneven. I think we can start sort of over here. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Uh, let's give him a little bit of breathing room and space. There you go. And another one in... Over... There. So that's a, that's a good six sort of village houses. Um, which is good because, as I said, uh, po population is the key uh, in this game. Uh, as far as uh, I can figure out, keeping yourself enabled to looking for jobs. Three women, okay. Um, let's get another one onto the farm then. Um, and let's get another farm field down. 
Um, or maybe we could even get up a, um, and maybe we should even get up a, a, um, an oil workshop. That could be also a good thing to do. Um, but I want to finish the fields here. Um, so I want to get another field in like this. So we're going to do a 23 or a 24 over here. Um, we're going to come all the way down to here. Like that. Like that. Good. Good, good. Uh, let's add another one. Um, this is all housing over here. Um, I think we might... We might add this a path going down here. Um, we might add another path going up here, but I think for now, what we want is we want to give ourselves a bit of a close off here. So let's do... Uh, let's try and get another straight line, shall we? Uh, 25. And let's go down to the 31 over here. And like that. Right, okay. So we've got a few more fields. Uh, not ready. Yes, okay, cool. Uh, you, right. Let's do some... Um, Let's do some some things in here. Let's do some potato. We can do potato, um, which is a 50% um, and a 30% of uh, the green. Uh, so let's do potato. Uh, right, potato. What was the other one we could do here? We could do potato and then 50%. Then we can do um, buckwheat. Yes, buckwheat. And then we'll do... Um, buckwheat uses 20, and that's 30. And then we can do another potato. Uh, yeah, we'll do... That's a good, uh, that's a very good mass food production type thing. Then over here, we're going to do, I think, sunflower. Um, and then immediately after sunflower, which uses a lot. Uh, let's keep ourselves with food, shall we? Uh... 60, 60, yeah, we can do a buckwheat and a fallow, right, okay, cool, um, and then I think what we'll do here is we'll do a, another buckwheat and a sunflower and a fallow, um, and then over here we will do a, let's do a sunflower and a fallow, there you go, um, we need the sunflower in here, um, Right, follow there, and then we'll do a potato and a buckwheat. And what do we could do? A potato, buckwheat, and then a potato, buckwheat. And then another potato? 50%. Um, yeah, we do another potato, another potato, fallow. Okay, so this is another very food orientated field. And then let's do some sunflower, and then I want to get in some, some flax maybe. Uh, no, the sunflower uses 100% of this all. Um, so instead, we're just going to throw in some buckwheat and fallow again. Um, that's good. All right, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, 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 right. I don't know if they're going to get to sowing all those fields, um, but they will eventually. Um, all right, we're going to need another one of those... Uh, where is the granary? So let's hoy the granary up here and speed this up. Um, so we'll get the town hall up, then this granary. Uh, hopefully in time for uh, the buckwheat and potato harvest. Uh, along with a few more houses and our forestry. And what we were going to do was, is we were going to get in an oil yard as well. An oil workshop. Uh, where is the oil workshop? Um, they keep adding things. There it is, oil workshop. Now, oil workshop, where are we going to do you? Um, kind of inclined to put you over here. Uh, like up, this is such a, they, these buildings go so well together, I think. Um, maybe we put you like over here, like, like weirdly like that. Um, I kind of like the idea of doing that. Um, yeah, maybe, or maybe we do it over here. Uh, maybe we run the, the, yeah, does this uneven? Yeah, it's uneven. This is very hard. To, it's going to be very hard. Maybe we do it over here and we actually run the continued, um, the continued idea of, uh, sort of, yeah, maybe let's do it like over here, shall we? Um, yeah, let's do it over here. We'll leave a bit of a gap. Um, just so we can put some trees in, make roads, etc. Yeah, we're gonna do that there. Okay, so we'll get an oil workshop in so we can get some sunflower oil coming into the, um, the trade center soon because we're not doing so badly on cash, but, uh, it's not the best. Right, let's just have a look and see how we're doing over here. 
Uh, it's just the wood to process, which is great. Um, forestry, let's put you up there. Um, have we got have we got anyone have we got um, anyone from the forestry coming to clear these? Uh, I think it's taking them a while. It's quite far away, which is why it's important to get this forestry in. So, a um, couple more houses forestry. Uh, let's do three houses forestry. The granary can come after the houses, I think. Three houses, yep. Uh, three houses, uh, granary, uh, forestry, and then a bunch more houses, and then some warehouses, and then oil workshop. I think the oil workshop should go after another three houses. There you go. That's a really good build order there. Okay, look at this. You see what I mean by just the trees go up here, and it just looks so much better. Uh, what are we selling? We're selling peas and honey. Uh, we've got some honey in store and peas. We've got no fish. Um, how are you guys operating? Okay, so we might need to get the next fishing hut up. Uh, fishing dock up as well. Uh, sooner rather than later. Let's get him after the, the forestry. Um, because... Yeah, there before there after three hours, then the fishing dock, because uh, yeah, that's gonna we're gonna need more food uh, in order to be coming through. We've got very little fish, very little fish. So, uh, ooh, hello trader, have you come from back? Are you looking for? Nope, you're not looking for. I was gonna sell you some some um, some charcoal, but we'll wait for we'll wait for you to come from where where, where is it again? It's uh, Jokachi. You're the one who sells charcoal. You are the one who buys charcoal. Don't want to spend the money on that one though. Uh, it feels a little bit ridiculous. So, I think everyone that that's where this episode is going to be rounded off for now. I know that we are still very much in sort of planning phases, uh, sort of establishing and digging in our roots. Um, I'm going to try and progress in the next episode to some of the more, uh, the newer buildings, the more interesting ones. I think the only one we've got up now that is new is the small granary. Um, maybe I'll include a small time lapse uh, in the next episode. Uh, of one of those small granaries getting built. Um, but I'm hoping that by the uh, time we get to the next episode, most of this build queue up at the top will have been done. So a lot of what you see here will be fleshed out and more established. And uh, yeah, we can go from there. So as always, thank you so much for joining us, especially all of you new people who've arrived on the channel. I really appreciate the subscriptions. Um, it just it, it warms my heart, it honors me. All I really want to know is that people are enjoying stuff. So good thumbs up from you guys. Thank you so much. And as always, I love hearing from you in the comments. So please do drop me a comment if you feel so like doing so. Yeah. And uh, until the next episode, which will probably be tomorrow. Look after yourselves. I am The Beard. Signing out.